。上集讲到，大量嘅穿山甲鳞片由非洲走私，经香港再到内地。究竟点解内地人对于国家重点保护动物穿山甲有咁大嘅需求呢？我哋去到广东揭阳市一条偏远嘅村庄了解。呢、这个花名叫细眼嘅厨师正喺度准备送菜。虽然呢间餐厅表面平平无奇，但系平日就客似云来，甚至有人专程喺三百公里外嘅深圳慕名而嚟。究竟呢间餐厅有啲咩特别咧？一齐去厨房睇睇。这只豹猫是几斤啊？呃，差不多九斤，十个人嘅够吃。这两斤多翻？两斤哦。这个两百一。厨房入面都系活生生嘅野味，仲有猪角、穿山甲添。咁啊，一千块钱左右，嗯，八九斤左右。之前两三千块钱。不用，不用。如果今天挂过去，明天我给你拿。是本地的吗？不是，本地的贵啊，本地要一千四。不会是冷冻那些哈、啊？过来，你看着我带啥？我不活，你就看。一般都是生菜、长骨、哦，白菜炒，那个血就是搞那个米饭炒哈。为咗进补，仍然有人将穿山甲当野味咁样食。不过最吸引中国人嘅，其实系佢嘅鳞片。What you're going to find in China is we've identified six different products that's got that have got pangolin scale in them. It's part of the remedy for each of the sixty products, and that's the big problem. 穿山甲身上剥落嚟嘅鳞片，必须经过特定嘅处理，先至可以变成为中药材。喺中国，只有获批嘅医院同埋中药厂先至可以买卖鳞片。但系我哋发现有唔少嘅中药铺非法售卖鳞片。那个新鲜，那个便宜，那个一千多块一斤。中药的，我们一定得炒，特别是几斤是。就是那个鳞片令到内地人趋之若鹜，全因为传统中医药认为鳞片可以通血活瘀。甚至可以治疗糖尿病。山甲通乳汤当中所用到嘅材料咧，其实系穿山甲表面嘅嗰阵鳞片。咁呢个汤入边咧，我哋系放咗两个经典嘅通乳嘅药物喺度嘅，就系、是、一个系穿山甲。I don't believe there's any scientific studies that have shown the medicinal value of either pangolin meat or pangolin scales. As I said, there are plenty of Pharmaceutical options available that have been proven to be effective. It's made out of a keratin, which is the same substance that's in our fingernails and in our hair. Um, so, if going by that logic, you know that keratin is going to cure your diabetes, we may as well be chewing our nails or chewing our hair. 由于大量嘅捕杀，过去几十年，中国穿山甲减少咗近九成。不法分子将目标转为猎杀非洲嘅穿山甲。But we do know that there's Hong Kong is being used as also a transit point to other parts of China。香港海关近年多次查获数以吨计嘅走私鳞片，都系由非洲走私入口。二零一四年至今，一共查获咗近三十吨嘅非洲鳞片，即系大约有五万只嘅穿山甲惨遭捕杀。香港人好关注宠物权益。但系对于外貌奇特、中迹神秘嘅穿山甲，大家又可唔可以出一分力，督促香港政府中断呢条染血嘅走私链呢？